Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the newest Wes Anderson film, The Wonderful World of Henry Sugar. This film stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Ben Kingsley, Dev Patel, and Ralph Fiennes. It's written and directed by Wes Anderson and is his second adaptation of a book by Roald Dahl. The other was Fantastic Mr. Fox that came out in 2009, another good Wes Anderson film. It's in stop motion, definitely go and check it out. And if you've seen Wes Anderson films and are a fan of him, then you know that he's a perfect choice for making a Roald Dahl adaptation. This kind of reminded me, in a sense, a little bit of Asteroid City in the sense that it kind of looked like it was sort of meant to be like a play. I don't really know how to explain it. This film, you know, is about a man who kind of realizes he has magical powers, I guess. I'm not really going to talk about spoilers because this film just came out today on Netflix. It's rated PG. So go watch it, go watch it with your family. If you like Wes Anderson, then I definitely recommend it. It's got, you know, his classic style with the symmetry and, you know, the choreography and all that, all that stuff I really enjoy. I've seen all of his movies, except I've only seen some of Asteroid City and some of Bottle Rocket. So I gotta go back and watch those two. But besides that, you know, I'm a huge Wes Anderson film. I've seen all of his films besides all of those two. So my thing, I kind of feel like Wes Anderson's last couple movies haven't really been as inspired as some of his earlier movies, like Darjeeling Limited, you know, or even The Grand Budapest Hotel. I saw that movie twice in theaters. But I feel like this film and Asteroid City, you know, I watched half of it and I'm going to have to go back and watch the rest of it later, but... You know, those two films and The French Dispatch, I didn't really care for all that much. Um, you know, this one was, I felt like it was definitely a step up from French Dispatch. It could just be me, and it seems like when it comes to Wes Anderson films, we all kind of have our own opinions on which ones we like and which ones we don't, which is totally fine. You know, it's not a contest. You know, The Life Aquatic is one of, you know, people's, like, favorite Wes Anderson films. And if you ask me, you know, it's one of my least favorite. You know, one of my favorite Wes Anderson films is Rushmore, you know, and it's one of his earliest films. It was only Wes Anderson's second film, and a lot of people haven't seen it, and I think that's his funniest film, you know. So it's kind of subjective, especially when it comes to Wes Anderson, you know, because he's got a very distinct style. But I did feel like this one uh, was definitely better than The French Dispatch and uh, what I remember of Asteroid City. You know, the dialogue, I, it was just is so fast. I mean, people talk so fast that it's hard to understand what's going on sometimes, even with the subtitles. That could just be me. But um, in this film, it kind of bothered me. You know, that's part of his signature style sometimes. But in this film, it just was, I don't know just a little too much for me but regardless you know like I said it had the classic like symmetrical you know I had a four by three aspect ratio uh, you know lots of colors the set design was cool there was this really cool part where um, you know Benedict Cumberbatch's character is like you know he's supposed to be walking down the street but the street is like a screen behind him and it was it was cool I really liked it um, that part was cool i give it maybe a 6.9 out of 10. You know, it's only 40 minutes long. That's another reason I'm not going to talk about the plot much is because, you know, you can go watch it on Netflix. Like I said, it just came out today. Probably not watching this today, but... And that's really all i got to say about the wonderful story of Henry Sugar. I believe that Wes Anderson is making three more of these short films for Netflix that are Roald Dahl adaptations. If you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate it. Take a minute to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon.